We are going to continue with operations with vectors and we're going to keep on with multiplying a vector by a scalar. You will find this on page 588 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at example 24. Given that this is the column vector and this is the column vector and they are parallel vectors, find the value of Q. Now, if they are parallel, I can take out or say, for example, a scalar was multiplied with this one to get this one. But just to make it a bit easier, we are going to do it like this. We are going to take the bigger one and put it in front, make it the equal sign, put in the scalar, K, but it can be any alphabet letter, and then write 4 and negative 3. And then we are going to multiply the k in, so we are going to get 4k and negative 3k. And then I'm going to say, but 12 is then equal to 4k, and q is equal to negative 3k. Then we're going to solve this equation to find k, substitute it in there, and that's how we find the value of q. Okay, I want you to stop the video and do for me try not 24, number 1 and 2. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start. Number 1. Given that this and this are parallel vectors, find the value of Q. Now, what did we do? We write the bigger one, the 20, in front. And then we make, they are, there's a scalar. And then we write the 5 and the 2. Okay. And now we're just going to multiply in that scalar. So we're going to get 5k and 2k. Okay. So therefore, we are going to get now, put that equal to each other. So we're going to get, it uh, doesn't matter, you can say 5k is equal to 20. Okay, and we're going to say Q is equal to 2K. Doesn't matter which one stands in front. Then I'm just going to divide 5, divide 5, and I'm going to get that the value of K will be 4. And then I'm going to substitute, and I'm going to get the A, 8. So therefore, the value of K will be 4, and the value of Q will be 8. And that's how I do number 1. Okay, let's do the next one. I can even do it here. Let's just take another color. This is for number 2. Let's just make the pen again correct. Okay, it's actually exactly the same. Given this, a parallel vectors. Now this is the bigger one. Can you see on top? Compare this two. So put this one in front. So we're just going to say Okay, 8 and negative 6. And don't forget to put in your scalar. You can use any alphabet letter, but keep to, to K. Not to confuse yourself. Okay, so then we're just going to put it equal. So we're going to multiply in that scalar. So we are going to get 2K. And then we are going to get HK. So therefore... We're going to get 8 is equal to 2k and negative 6 is equal to hk. So then I'm going to divide 2. In this case, I put it on this side, so it doesn't matter. I'll show you both. So the value of k is going to be 4, okay? And the value of... Um, so I just substitute, so negative 6 equals h and I put the 4 and then in this case I'm just going to divide it by 4 divide by 4 so I'm going to say therefore the value of k is 4 and can you see this cancel so the value of h is negative you can say negative 6 over 4 but simplify it so it's going to be negative 3 over 2. Or you can even say, and I must just move it up a little bit. Or you can even say it's equal to negative 1 and a half. 
but it doesn't matter. Either this or this you can write. Okay, let's look at another example. It's a bit more complicated. So if it's given that A, they give you the vector A, and I say that A is equal to KB, so they are parallel, where K is positive constant. But now I give you the magnitude of B. Find the value of K. So hence, find B. So you must first find K and then find B. Now, since A equals KB, I can say that the magnitude is equal to K this magnitude. Okay, so I make from this statement comes this statement. Okay, and K must be bigger than zero. Now, I work out the magnitude of A. Because I have A, let's just take rather the highlighter. Because I have A, I work out. So the, it's squared plus squared this. And I already have the magnitude of B. There's the magnitude. I just substitute it in there. And then I work out that square root if I can, and that's 17. And now I just divide 51, divide 51, and I get a third. And now if A is for KB, then A is a third of B, but I'm looking for B. So I just multiply with 3 over 1, other side also with 3 over 1, so I will get that B is equal to 3A. And then I put 3 and I substitute A again, and that is my value of B. A bit more complicated. Okay, so stop the video and do try now 25 number 1. First try it, and then as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start. It's given that A is this and A is equal to KB where K is a positive constant and they give you the magnitude of B exactly the same almost as that one, just different values. Find the value of K and then also find B. So let's start again. So we can start by saying A is equal to KB. Just underline it. To help you, this is a vector and this is a scalar. I didn't underline it always there, but it's better to underline it if it's a vector. Okay, so in this case, and then I can say, okay, but then I know that the magnitude of A will be equal to K times the magnitude of B. Don't forget, this is vector, this is a scalar. Okay. So now I'm going to find, okay, don't, um, let me just write there, what is the value of A? Um, I'm just going to take red. The value of A, what was that? Let's write it, 4, negative 3. Okay, so if I go and I put it in that second one that I wrote here, so if I A, so this was 4 squared plus negative 3 square and that is k and maybe I must write that also what was the the magnitude of b and let's rather put it there the magnitude of b was equal and I gave it there 20 and I'm going to use this now I use this one and now I'm going to use also the 20 so I can say multiply 20 so if I work out this, I'm going to get 16 plus 9, and that's going to be 20k. Don't underline it. It's not a vector. It's a scalar. So that's going to be 25 is equal to 20k. Now this is nice because the square root of 25 will just be 5. And then I divide 20, and I divide 20, and I get that the value of k is going to be one quarter. Okay, now I have to move up a little bit. Yes, I can move up, up to there. Okay, and now, now I'm going to say, if, I'm just going to change colors, if A is equal to KB, don't forget, this is the two vectors, this is the scalar, then A is going to be, now I have the value of K, so it's a quarter of B, okay. So if I'm going to now, now I want to switch it around, I want to get B in terms of A. So can I just show you the maths? I just multiply, uh, I want to do different color, that you can see it better. 
I multiply 4 over 1 and I multiply 4 over 1. Can you see? Because then this will cancel there and I'm going to end up with B is equal to 4A. That's what I want. And that's what I want. So if I get therefore B is 4A. Okay? And now I just substitute. Remember I have A. There is A. So I'm, I'm bringing it in again. Put in A. What was that? 4, negative 3. Okay? And if I multiply that, I'm going to get 16 and negative 12. Okay? And then I can just end up by saying the vector of P will be 16 and negative 12.